Member for Fergus South and Leader of his party. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Ça me fait plaisir de parler sur les questions, les questions de le budget du capital aujourd'hui pour 2020 et 2023. C'était uh, intéressant. Um, it's interesting, Mr. Speaker, because uh, this really reflects the status quo. Um, one of the things the minister did not talk about really was talk about sustainability, but the need to prepare now for uh, the kinds of uh, climate emergencies that increasingly we're facing, uh, Mr. Speaker. So capital budgets are supposed to represent real investments, and, and one of the real investments we need to make, for sure, Mr. Speaker, is in addressing the climate crisis as it affects New Brunswickers directly and affects their communities. Um, he starts off though early on by saying the maintenance of a strong transportation network between our communities plays a central role for our communities to thrive. Well, Mr. Speaker, um, he didn't, and that is true. That is true, and hopefully the, the road work and the bridge work that's going to be done under this capital budget actually reflects, reflects the priorities uh, those communities have, though they identify as the, the work that most is needed in their areas to address their transportation requirements for road travel, Mr. Speaker. But interestingly enough, when it comes to public transportation, uh, there is nothing in the budget about that. Nothing. The public transportation network is, is something that needs to be built in this province, Mr. Speaker. And, uh, and for the same reasons that the minister describes the importance of the road transportation network, the public transportation network plays perhaps even a greater role, or would play a greater role if we had one that was comprehensive uh, and, uh, and affor affordable and effective, Mr. Speaker, because uh, lots of people, on the one hand, aren't able to drive. Or if they are, uh, in the winter, it's a difficult thing for many people to make uh, long trips to go to medical appointments um, or to go uh, visit family. We need a public transportation system, which at the same time will help shrink our carbon footprint. But that's, that's where I don't see any imagination, Mr. Speaker, or any innovation in the capital budget. Uh, when you realize that we uh, need to start both um, decarbonizing our economy uh, and, decarb and, and, and protecting our communities from the worst impacts of climate change, and I don't see that in the budget. Uh, for example, Mr. Speaker, the, this is the fifth anniversary of the Climate Action Strategy for New Brunswick. And in it, uh, one of the commitments was to, for, New Brunswick, for government to lead by example, to lead by example. But I don't see that in the capital budget. There are new schools being built, Mr. Speaker, but are those schools being built to be net zero so they don't add to our carbon footprint? I don't see uh, any investments, Mr. Speaker, in moving the provincial transportation fleet, vehicle fleet, over to electric vehicles. There's no mention of that, Mr. Speaker. There's no mention of uh, significant retrofits of government buildings, and maybe there will be in the details, to get their energy costs down to save New Brunswickers money on their heating and energy costs, and at the same time shrinking their carbon footprint, uh, Mr. Speaker. And on, on, uh, on uh, climate protection, it's difficult to see exactly what's there. Maybe we'll have to see the details, but we have a, a dike system, Mr. Speaker, that that is absolutely essential to protecting parts of uh, significant parts of southeastern New Brunswick, including the town of Sackville, from flooding from the Bay of Fundy. And uh, that's not going to be a, a, an inexpensive measure. The same goes for the infrastructure on the uh, Shignecta Wismus. So uh, when it comes to vision and sustainability, Mr. Speaker, I find uh, the, whole, the whole area of climate protection and, uh, and decarbonization absent from the capital budget, and that's a shame. In 2022, on the on 2000, end of 2021, the uh, fifth anniversary of the Climate Action Plan that got this government committed to, uh, that's a shame. I don't know what it is, Mr. Speaker, about, about the Minister of Finance and the government's aversion to islands. Uh, the leader of the official opposition mentioned the apparent lack of any investment in, in uh, a new bridge for the island of Lamech. Uh, 
uh, Mr. Speaker, and there apparently is no commitment either to uh, invest in a year-round uh, ferry for Campobello Island, the only part of New Brunswick that's not connected to, to New Brunswick, Mr. Speaker. Uh, it's, a, it's a scandal, really, and uh, it's the only place in Canada that's not connected to the country. So uh, we know, Mr. Speaker, that uh, there are members uh, in the Government Caucus who support a year-round Campobello ferry, and uh, we know that the people of Campobello uh, are waiting for an announcement that there will be a year-round Campobello ferry. Their population continues to decline. They have many, many challenges, some of which would really be uh, addressed in a significant way by having a direct year-round uh, uh, connection to the New Brunswick mainland, Mr. Speaker, uh, both for, for uh, social reasons, for economic reasons, uh, and, and of course for environmental reasons. So, Mr. Speaker, we'll wait to see what uh, the details look like uh, in the capital budget when they come out, uh, but uh, it, it is a shame that uh, in this year of Glasgow, in this year of the fifth anniversary of New Brunswick's Climate Action Plan, in this year of the growing climate crisis and the tremendous damage we've seen done in the province of British Columbia, threefold from, from the heat dome to the, uh, to the uh, tremendous flood, flooding and landslides and the forest fires there, Mr. Speaker, and we can see what the future holds and uh, the capital budget should reflect the necessary investments to be made uh, in the future to help protect New Brunswickers and their communities. But we'll see what the details say. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The member for Fredericton.